Kia ora team, my name is Ben and today let's look at cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So first let's break down the words. Pulmonary, every time you see this word it means lung, edema is fluid, cardio, heart and genic means creation, like the first book in the Bible. So what cardiogenic pulmonary edema is, is an abnormal creation or build up of fluid in the lungs, the alveoli, because of a cardiac function or cardiac dysfunction. Problem with the heart causing a build up of fluid in our lungs or our alveoli. All right, how does this happen? So first of all, let's go back and see the circulation of blood through the heart. Here's our body. Blood comes from the body and it comes via the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. Then we go into the right ventricle and then the right ventricle is going to pump and it's going to take the blood to our lungs and that's the right side of the heart. Then the left side of the heart is going to take the blood from the lungs, bring it in to the left atrium, down into the left ventricle, and then when the left ventricle contracts, it's going to bring that blood back to the body, and so on and so on. Gorgeous. So if we get a build up of fluid in the lungs, it's because the pressure of the blood in the lungs is too much for the pressure of the air in the alveoli. So what's happened? So if, our, if the left side of our heart is in failure and isn't pumping properly, then normally our blood would be flowing quite nicely from our lungs into the left side through the mitral valve and then through from the ventricle through the aortic valve and into the aorta and away we go. But if our left ventricle isn't pumping adequately enough, then it's not clearing that blood away. So the blood is going to start to back up and the blood is going to back up in the pulmonary circulation of the lungs. So that's one way it could happen. So the left ventricle isn't pumping adequately, so left heart failure, maybe due to a myocardial infarction, a heart attack, because remember, dead meat don't beat. So once the wall of the ventricle or part of it dies, it's not coming back and it's not going to aid in the contraction. The other thing that could be happening is our aortic valve, which is the door between the ventricle and the aorta, or the mitral valve, the door between the atrium and the ventricle, if those doors are, aren't doing their job and shutting to stop the blood flowing back, then it's going to keep flowing back and start building up back into the lungs. This is known as regurgitation. The other way our valves can fail us is if they don't open up fully, and this way we're also going to get a build-up of pressure in our pulmonary circulation. So aortic valve stenosis or mitral valve stenosis, the doors don't open up, so the blood is going to struggle to leave the left side of the heart. So again, it's going to build up in our pulmonary circulation. Okay, then what happens? In our lung, here's our alveoli, and here's the blood vessel around that alveoli. If we get lots and lots and lots of blood pushing on the wall here. So increased pressure on the blood, then we're going to get fluid leaking out into the alveoli. And then our alveoli, which should be full of air, starts to get full of fluid. And that is our cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So this poor person, if the alveoli is full of fluid, they're going to have big trouble trying to diffuse gases across that fluid and then across the cell wall into the blood vessel. So what do we do? So we need to change the pressure in the blood vessel or we need to change the pressure in the alveoli or both. So what we can do is we can do PEEP, 
positive end expiratory pressure, which uh, we put on someone's mouth and nose. So when they breathe in, it's easy. And when they breathe out, it's hard, like breathing out against a straw. So this increases the pressure in the alveoli. So more pressure in the alveoli is going to have to have to help force this fluid back out and into circulation. The other way we can help is we can give vasodilators. So if we dilate this blood vessel and make this blood vessel surround the alveoli bigger, now if the blood vessel is larger and it has the same amount of blood, then the pressure is going to be less. So now we're going to get the fluid coming out of the alveoli and back into circulation. So that's our treatment for cardiogenic pulmonary edema, vasodilation, and positive end expiratory pressure. Alright team, happy studying!